This was one of the first paintings that I painted in watercolor and also felt proud enough to sort of frame and put up. It's in my hallway of my house. And then opposite it is another similar one with this kind of translucent blue flowers layering lots of different watercolor levels, kind of layers. In my front entranceway, I have um, three pieces of art. One is this abstract, kind of layered, translucent effect with different shades of gray. It's hard to see here because of the reflections and a little bit of gold in there as well, just a gold line. And then on the other side here, I also have another more abstract piece. Again, a layering of gray watercolors and gold kind of doodling on top. I think I have a video kind of explaining how I did this one. And then as we go in a little bit more, I have this peony. Again, there's lots of reflections from the light, but it's um, blue watercolors with, again, a gold outline. I really love this piece. That's the entranceway. This one is in my somewhat newly renovated bathroom where we got the uh, upper part painted blue and we had some white wainscoting added. And then I think this beautiful peony also just matches it so nicely, it has a lot of gold. Hard to see with the reflections, but here I'll move back. Maybe you can see it better like that. I took some pictures of this one as well, but I love it in the gold frame as well. This is my laundry room and I put up a few prints of these pictures that I did of uh, monthly flowers. And so I have three of them over here on this side framed. Really just love seeing them as I walk in. And then on this side, I have three more. Um, these prints are available actually, if anybody's interested in them, I printed quite a few. In my family room, I have some of uh, my translucent kind of pressed flowers. And these are, um, these are the original watercolors, but I also made cards out of these and they turned out actually quite well. I'm quite pleased with those. So this is the blue and purple. And over here we've got the pink and another blue one. Again, there's a lot of kind of reflections, but the pink is really quite pretty. It's one of my favorites. In my office, I have um, this large piece that I painted with pinks and kind of a background of blues. It's a really large frame, actually. I forgot about this one last one, also based on a tutorial by CC Creations. Uh, it's kind of like an abstract floral. Uh, I really like the colors. There's a little bit of gold. It's hard to see it, but there's a stripe of gold along there. So yeah, I like it, this one too. As you go up the stairs, I have these two kind of on a little ledge here. Um, these are very early line work drawings that I did of, I think they're like poppies. So I did this one um, just first, and then I liked it and I thought, let me try it also on black construction paper. And so I like the two pieces together framed like this. So I almost forgot that in my closet is one of my little art collections here. I hung it up on this blank wall uh, and then I can just change it up uh, with new artwork if I like to look at something new that I've painted. They're just with little clothespins here. But yeah, makes me happy to see them. There are two more pieces I forgot about. This one here is in my kitchen. Um, it's based on a tutorial by CC Creations. Um, she does these doodling with pen over watercolor. So I took her idea, I just made it my own with some different kind of uh, leaves that I chose, but I really like the way it turned out. The last piece is in my bathroom. Uh, I did this one early on as well. And I just like the composition and kind of muted colors. Oh, you're seeing a lot of reflection. Let me try it like that. Oh, that works. Okay, so here, um, and I actually did this in watercolor and the white 
of the flowers wasn't coming through, so I actually did just acrylic paint on top um, just to get some of those petals of the white. But I really like it in, in the bathroom here. It's more of a kind of classic piece. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little house tour of the paintings that I have up in my home. Um, let me know in the comments below.